You've heard about manifesting being all about the frequency, but what does that really mean? So imagine yourself with this belief passenger, almost like a separate entity, that is constantly criticizing you and telling you to be afraid of everything, to not try something new, to not trust your own intuition. This belief passenger needs to go. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's like a voice next to you telling you to play it safe, to stay small, to expect the worst. This is not an expansive feeling, it's a constrictive feeling. This is how you know these negative frequencies are feeding you reasons why things won't work out and why you should worry. So today I thought I would just show you a couple techniques that I've used understanding what fear is and how to overcome that. So this passenger, like fear, it isn't just sitting quietly in the background, it's controlling the ride. When fear becomes the dominant belief, it starts to attract more of the same. This is the same exact way though that positive things manifest as well. It's all in the frequency, low frequency or high frequencies. Ever notice how when you're anxious or fearful about something, suddenly more things start popping up to be anxious and fearful about. And that's not a coincidence. Fear operates at a low frequency and it does attract more negative experiences. It's almost like a signal being sent out that says, hey, I'm afraid, so send me more of that, more of the same versus I expect great success and positive outcomes. So this brings me to how do we quiet this belief passenger or this entity or this fear or other negative emotions like this for something better, something that vibrates at a higher frequency. We want that to take over. So this first thing you have to do is become aware of it. Of course, we have to recognize that we're what we're feeling. Sometimes it's very sneaky. Fear disguises itself as being realistic or just being careful. When you dig deep, you know that fear is running the show because it feels very heavy. Here's one thing I do. You put a rubber band on your wrist for a day or two, and each time you feel fear or anxiety, just snap it, snap it to remind yourself and count how many times it comes up for you. Now, what do you do after you snap it? Here's the fun part. Picture it sitting next to you. Give it a face if you need to, something silly that makes it seem less intimidating. You can actually have fun with it. Hey, I know you're here. You're not gonna be taken over right now. I am. Thanks for your input, but I'm in charge now. I know that might sound strange, but giving fear a voice, even a name, and then rejecting that voice puts you back in control. This is where the magic happens. To replace the fear, you need to just think of a higher frequency, something you can get excited about, focusing on one of the positive emotions, like hopefulness, a can-do-it attitude, reminding yourself that you deserve this. Feeling excited again, even in the face of nothing happening, because all of these things will bring your manifestation closer. You can do this in an instant. You've just shifted your frequency. And when you operate from that higher frequency, you're in a better position now to attract what you want. Over time, that new frequency becomes your default setting. Once that begins happening and taking root, you no longer are attracting things from a place of fear. You're attracting them from a higher level from where you once were, whether it's abundance, better relationships, a vacation or material possessions, self-improvement things that you're trying to work on so that you do get up to where you're no longer at that old normal. You have a new normal now that's much higher. We're trying to raise your baseline frequency so that your manifestations stick and your life changes for good. Once you shift that frequency and quiet that fear passenger, you'll start to notice changes in every part of your life. Money starts to flow more easily, not because you magically discovered the secret to wealth, but because you're no longer blocking it with fear and doubt. Relationships improve because you're attracting people who match your new higher frequency and honor your boundaries. You'll feel more peace, more joy, and you'll have a sense of trust that everything is working out for you because it is. You don't have to be perfect at this. You're gonna have days when fear tries to take the wheel again, and that's okay. You've had a lifetime of this, but now you're working with tools to take back control. You can quiet that belief passenger and get back into alignment with what you truly want. Look, I'm sharing what I do when I feel stuck and frustrated, and I feel like I need to shift over here. So keep doing this work, keep practicing, and watch how your life transformed. If you did enjoy this episode, I welcome you to join me in more videos and watch my manifesting playlist. I'm Kate, and I'll be your guide, and happy manifesting.